Today for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I'm going to share with you my Witcher-inspired build. So, if you want to level up from being just a regular Mystios to an elite monster slayer, then keep on watching and let's get in there. What's going on Mistios? Ziggin here and welcome to Ziggin Builds. Hope you guys like that little intro. This is a warrior swords build that combines certain abilities to make you feel as close to Geralt of Rivia himself in AC Odyssey. Just a little background for those of you who aren't too familiar with the Witcher games. Witchers are basically bred to be monster hunters for hire and are known to be some of the most formidable fighters around. They undergo extensive physical and magical training at a very young age and is subjected to intense mutations that allow them to possess increased strength, speed, reflexes, and other deadly abilities. Now, even though this is somewhat a role-playing build, I was still able to put in a lot of damage and optimization to make this very viable to use in Nightmare difficulty. As you can see, it can even one-shot mythical creatures when the Convert to Assassin damage perk activates even without using the Falls of Olympus or the Blade of Yominus. Before we get into the build details, if it's your first time here, please leave a like and subscribe. It would really help out the channel a lot and I would appreciate it very much. Alright, thanks so much guys and let's get right into it. For this build, we are going to use two perfect warrior swords. Since a Witcher also typically carries two swords, a steel one for regular encounters, and a silver blade for the more supernatural ones, which we are going to emulate. So for our primary weapon, let's pretend that this is going to be our silver sword. We have warrior damage, crit damage, damage with swords, and we are going to engrave the armor penetration on it since we want maximum damage while going on our hunts. For our steel sword, we have the same warrior damage, crit damage, damage with swords, but we're going to engrave the plus charges to bull rush ability on it because we are using this to simulate the witcher science, which I will show you later on. For the bow, we have warrior damage, assassin damage, crit chance, and we will engrave the convert 50% warrior damage to all damage from the 3rd Atlantis DLC. Now for the helmet, we are going for maximum sword damage. This is because witchers are known to be some of the best and deadliest swordsmen in the world. So to emulate that, we are using warrior damage, damage with swords and daggers, damage with swords, and we are going to engrave 20% crit chance at full health on it. For the chest, we have warrior damage, all damage, crit damage, and we will use the vanish ability intoxicates enemies. This is another key feature for our build and you can get it from the Darius set bonus. For the boots, we have warrior damage, crit chance at full health, crit damage at full health, and I placed the plus 20% all resistance after perfect dodge bonus since a witcher's fighting style involves a lot of dodging and pirouettes. On the gloves, we are using warrior damage, crit damage at full health, crit damage, and 10% crit chance just to get our critical stats as high as we can. And for the waist, we are using warrior damage, melee resistance, more crit damage at full health, and we're going to use the plus 5% crit chance and 25% crit damage from the Nemean Lion set. So let's take a look at the abilities. Since this is a Witcher build, I've tried to choose the ones that I feel would best suit the fighting style of a Witcher. I'll show you what I have on my ability wheels, and the rest are just passives, which you can go ahead and copy. Our first ability is going to be Slow Time. This is the regular version. Since Witchers have enhanced speed and reflexes due to their mutations, this skill is perfect for us. It works great against groups of enemies and also for bosses so that you can position yourself behind them for a lot more damage. Our second ability is Hero Strike. This is going to be one of our staple attacks and that is why we also tried to add a bit more assassin damage on our gear. Our next ability is Fury of the Bloodline. This is a very strong ability especially because of the animation cancelling and it gives us instant adrenaline as well. Also, it's a great follow-up combo to Hero Strike whenever the opponent is knocked down. 
And the last one is Vanish with our chest engraving. I use this ability as a kind of poison and stun bomb since witchers also make use of alchemical bombs in their arsenal. This works great when hunting mythical creatures because you can stun and weaken them, then follow up with Fury of the Bloodline or an overpower attack. For my second ability wheel, I've set it up to have all the Witcher Signs grouped together. Signs are simple magic spells that Witchers utilize to help aid them in battle. The first Witcher Sign is Seerden. It is a magical trap placed on the ground which will slow down and immobilize opponents. To emulate that, we will use Wrath of Ares which has a similar effect. A nice combo that I use on groups of enemies is Vanish, then follow it up with the Wrath of Ares ability. The second one is the Ard Sign. It is a telekinetic wave that can knock down or stun an opponent. To simulate this, we will be using the Iris Bull Charge with our plus 2 additional charge engrave. This gives the same knockdown effect that we are looking for. The third sign is Igni. It is a flame attack that incinerates opponents. For this, we will again be using the Iris Bull Charge ability, but this time we will be using it together with flaming attacks in order to get the fire elemental damage effect. This is such a fun ability and is one of my favorites to use in this build. And the last one is Quen. It is a protective shield that absorbs all damage away from the user. So in order to simulate this, we will be using Ares Last Breath which basically has the same effect. Looking at the stats, we have plus 262 warrior damage, 216 assassin damage, and 166 hunter damage. For our weapon modifiers, we have plus 140% damage with swords, which is the max that you can get. On our critical modifiers, we have 95% crit chance at full health and a very healthy plus 700% crit damage at full health. For our defensive modifiers, we have 144% armor bonus. However, our melee ranged and elemental defense are pretty light, but we can compensate that with Ares Last Breath plus the 20% resistance on perfect dodge and grave and the damage to health masteries. So for the masteries, just to make this quick, I'll just scroll down and you can just pause and rewind the video. No worries if you have fewer points than mine, it's still going to work. The important thing to note is that the primary ones to get are the ones that I have maxed out. Lastly, let's go over the transmog real quick since I think this look will fit a witcher and it's quite similar to Geralt's outfit. For our silver sword, I've chosen the Cephos of Peleus or Peleus since those markings remind me of the witcher runes on Geralt's silver sword. For the steel sword, I went with the Cavalier's Blade. For the bow, we're using the Odysseus bow. For the head, we're just using the hidden head. Or you can also use the Master Assassin's Hood if you'd like since the look still fits. For the chest, we're using the Persian warrior armor since the color and some of the details remind me of Geralt's Kermoran armor. For the boots, we are using the Master Assassin's boots. On the gloves, we are also using the Master Assassin's bracers. And for the waist, we are using the Master Assassin's belt from the Darius set as well since it's the only decent pants that I can find and it fits our color scheme. So that is the Witcher build guys. I just love how versatile this build turned out to be. You have a lot of gadgets and abilities at your disposal for any situation, pretty much like how a witcher is as well. Also, this build makes use of both fire and poison, which is quite rare to see. The Witcher is one of my most favorite games of all time, and so I wanted to bring some of that here in Odyssey. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you found something of value, leave me a like and subscribe for more AC Odyssey build videos. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time guys, much love.